Hey y'all, this is Ascension Empress with your energy check-in, okay? Most likely a karmic update because the message of this karmic wanting to contact the collective so bad, all right? Whether it's an old friend, old lover, somebody connected to somebody from the past or somebody in your presence, somebody that's trying to come towards you, whatever. Y'all, this energy is strong, okay? So... I'm getting the specific message of there's a master who is trying to block this karmic, yeah, who's trying to block this karmic energy from contacting you. So it's like someone doesn't want to hit the fan, and it, ugh, I heard it's just a lot of shit. That's it. Ooh, wait. Mm. So we're going to get into it. We're going to see what the messages are. Um, please take what resonates with you. Leave the rest. Okay, this is a collective message. So, mm. and specifically for the collective, y'all been getting this message of continue to protect your energy, right? Have boundaries. I just did Cancer's reading, and that was strong. So a lot of this energy could have been pulling on yours, right? This karmic energy of, you know, wondering why, okay, wondering why y'all are facing some type of blockage or barriers. Or maybe there was some type of delay, um, just energetically, okay, I'm hearing someone's crown chakra, someone's solar plexus, okay, so something around your confidence, but there has been a lot of envy concerning y'all's transformation, right, and what things look like on the outside as well, because I feel like y'all are blessed, you have, I'm hearing well known, or there's a lot of respect, or you know a lot of people, like, you just naturally receive a lot of attention. I heard support as well, okay? So with the Six of Swords, Nine of Cups, and the Ten of Cups, honey, that is just more even confirmation. It's more confirmation all over. Yes, look at that. Okay, so even with this Aquarius season, if you have Aquarius in your chart, you could be the type to not even, you're not trying to flaunt any of this. You're not the type to boast, okay? Or you could also be attracting people who envy, like I said, or who, it's not, it's not just envy, they crave, or I heard fiend, people are fiending for your blessings, or whatever it is that this Ten of Pentacles and Nine of Cups is saying, okay, because y'all just looking extremely fulfilled, but this is because you've been following your spirit guides, you've been following your intuition, right, y'all have been very wise in the decisions that you've made, and I heard the recent past, Okay, so that's why you have this joy, this fulfillment, and feeling grateful. So be aware of this energy here, because I don't get that this is necessarily y'all moving in silence, because I feel like y'all have. This is, uh, you know, <coughs> yeah, yeah. I was going to say it, and I'm going to say it. Let me get my water, okay? The message is stalker alert, stalker alert. That's another theme i've been getting the yep yeah, and i done call somebody out so cross watcher stalker whoever this is that energy y'all someone is confused they in their head they may be even mentally imbalanced okay because i also kept hearing over the last week or so why are you so obsessed with me why are you so obsessed with me okay so sagittarius has been getting that energy mm. <sighs> this person is obsessed you got a lot going on. Be careful of who you let into her, your circle, around your family. I don't like this energy now because I'm looking at the knife. And they're coming towards all of these people are having a good time. Someone is trying to crash the party. But they're not, they're not following yet. Ooh, they're not following their intuition. That's why they're in the Seven of Cups energy of confusion because they are going against their conscience. Someone is going against their conscience and wherever they're going towards towards these people who ain't messing with nobody, okay? Whether it's you or somebody else. So this could be a warning. Take it how it resonates, right? But whatever this action is towards deception, because I do see someone making a decision to just go against what their gut feeling is telling them, right? It's about to cause an ending. Oh, yes, they're about to be exposed. Someone is about to be exposed for being manipulative, yup. And... It's about to allow someone to still sleep just fine at night. And I feel like it's the Six of Swords. Somebody who ain't messing with nobody. 
right? Someone is about to be exposed here. Mm. Something coming to light. That's why I was picking up because you got this just shining. Six of Wands. What do we need to know about the Six of Wands here? There's victory or there's about to be some type of settlement. If someone tried to steal something, someone's going to be rewarded tenfold. Mm. Yeah, what do we need to know about this Six of Wands? Occupation. It just said it. Okay, this could be somebody in the workplace trying to manipulate something. Trying to mani Oh, and I did get that. Trying to manipulate an opportunity to pro for you to promote. So this is that blockage that we were talking about. Wow. So this karmic energy, who is also trying to be blocked by a masculine energy, and that could be that masculine who sees you as high honor. Didn't I say that? With Divine Feminine. Y'all, okay, so I'm going to have to link the video below. I just posted it about a week ago. You taking that step towards something new, going where you're celebrated within the workplace, your career, or whatever, People are going to see you as high honor. They're going to see you as the one, right? The one for the position. There is no one like you, but there is this energy around you who is trying to manipulate. But this authority figure also sees that these so-called competitors, right? This five of wands energy is trying to block you. They see what's going on too. And I heard, ooh, I heard for some of y'all, this authority figure is God. It's not just someone within the workplace. It's God sees all. So the same person who may, may be trying to cause indecision within a decision that is going to be made for your betterment, right? This person is about to be caught up in their own net mentally. Seven of Swords after that is the Eight of Swords. They're about to be caught up in a mental, in, I heard imprisonment because that's their spiritual justice. That's their karma, the Seven energy. Trying to be manipulative, right? God gave you these, you know, the elements for you to use responsibly. Somebody didn't do that. Somebody got too ahead of themselves here, I, I'm getting with the Nine of Cups. But somebody else was counting their blessings. They used it, mm, I heard to brighten their light. Somebody tried to dim someone's light while someone was trying to heal. I heard intentions of the heart. Yeah. It's a lot of karma going on, y'all. Yep, message of concern. What else do we need to know about this karmic energy, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels? Message of, yeah, message of concern. This karmic is about to get a message of concern. Either they're old. Oh, this promotion, this victory that you're getting regardless, is look at them. Just going to be clutching their pearls. Like what? The collective still, they still got that position. They still move forward. Whatever it is, it's causing somebody concern. Check out Cancer Reading if you got that in your chart or you dealing with one. Because the new them, these new boundaries, got people feeling uptight. Okay. Yep, toil and labor. You worked for it. You earned it. Not just on a skill level. So y'all may not even have all the qualifications that were so-called listed, right? Or preferred is what I'm picking up. But the fact that you've done the work as far as your character, the spiritual work, everything, I mean, it unfolds within the workplace, how you move on this earth. So y'all have done the internal work is what I'm picking up here. Yeah, family room. Mm. I'm, I'm hearing Taurus. So that energy around your, yeah, Cancer's reading. Somebody needs to check that out. Didn't I say somebody's going to see you as high honor? You got an authority figure or a masculine energy who is concerned because I heard they want you. They know that Okay, so this is crazy, y'all. I mean, it's not. It's exciting, right? So, for example, whoever this this woman, I'm hearing this woman is who's going for a new position, has different companies or authority figures concerned about who she may choose to work with. Wow. 
that's another reason why you have this energy surrounding her full of envy, concern, trying to block her. They're trying to block this one blessing. They don't realize this other masculine energy is a concern, wanting her to... I'm here to share her skills and her energy there too, okay? So something that she has to offer within the workplace, occupation, toil, and labor, or experience here around teamwork, abundance, performance, assets. So I'm picking up on being able to... You're an asset to a company here because of your people skills, because of your experience, because of performance, being able to analyze and increase performance. What is the word? <laughs> I get it all of a sudden. Improve. Okay, that's what it is. Improve. You have the skill set to improve something within many workplaces for many authority figures. So you may become independent, like a contractor or something here. Yeah. Working from home with the family room, because you, you may be a mother. And there's multiple feminine energies who are also mothers who are, they're watching you. I'm telling y'all are moving forward successfully with a lot of eyes on you. A lot of eyes on you. Okay. What advice do you have? Yes. Mmm. Y'all, oh my gosh, y'all. I don't know what to say. That is so beautiful. Ace of Cups, the Six of Swords, and the Sun card. I said a lot of eyes on you, your spirit guides, the energy, and the light is on you. Abundance, renewal is on you. Guidance is on you. Okay. You're going to shine before a lot of people. This is a lot of joy. This is a very refreshing chapter that y'all are stepping into. Okay? Whoever it was that was being blocked and continued to follow their intuition remained humble here. Okay? Yes, Seven of Cups. Despite the confusion, I'm here and having to decide again. So whoever it was that was trying to cause you confusion or is confused about what you may choose, somebody did try to manipulate so that they can manipulate your decision. Oh, I can't stand it. Yep, they weren't thinking about themselves. Somebody was just trying to one-up, I heard the next person, even if that next person was you. Ooh, so that's why, ooh, for, for spirit... <laughs> <sighs> for spirit to point that part out of even if that next person was you, that's what I'm getting with this family room card. This could be someone close to you, a loved one. And it may have taken a stab at your confidence or left you up in your head. This could have been somebody you were married to. Yeah, you've been working on something for a while now. You've put in a lot of time and energy into a connection, into a family foundation or a home here. And for this person to act this way, okay, this could be a sibling. I don't know, y'all. Take it how it resonates. But it's something about you being able to move forward and be mature and be wise. You're going to receive. I heard the recognition and the favor, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, somebody gonna have a hard time letting this go. Especially if y'all are, yeah. You working on you. You're focused on your family. Okay, you're getting a lot of, of, of attention. You may not be deciding on love offers right now. And a lot of people do see you as marriage material, and that's coming in. I feel like somebody's gonna have a hard time emotionally with the fact that you are moving on and starting new with somebody and it's going to be successful it's like this power couple energy okay what's the moonology message because i really don't want to get into this eight of cups reverse too much yeah and that may be the message for y'all okay so if this is you that's a warning don't let pride get in your way full moon and leo coming up within the next on what february 5th don't let pride get in your way. Why? A new romantic cycle is beginning, y'all. 
Oh, this is crazy. Because within the next, within the last six months, so maybe within the next six months as well, y'all are going to see how this just unfolds more and more. Okay? A time to give rather than take. Your commitment is being tested. So what are you giving to? And I feel like I may be talking to a cross watcher and you may be telling this person like this, it's a time to give rather than take you over here trying to manipulate. Okay. <sighs> take it how it resonates y'all, but I, ooh, there's a reason why this karmic reading had to come out. I don't know. It's a shame. It's not y'all. It's not. It's somebody who's, it's multiple people for some of you who've been pulling on your energy and y'all been feeling it. And you've probably been wondering, what is it? Why isn't something manifesting or why? Yeah, there was some type of blockage within the home, stability, or workplace. And it's all about to come to light. All right? Continue to show gratitude. <laughs> Continue to focus on you and your peace of mind. Right? You're about to get the re recognition. Okay, so that's the reading, y'all. Peace and blessings. We're about to clear the energy. Take care, you all. Bye.